Hi, my name is Natan Medina. I am 32 years old and I am Mukongo. That's my tribe. I entered the competition Mr. Congo UK in order to connect with my community and to find a way to contribute something and give something back. If I win Mr. Congo UK, um, the first thing I want to do is uh, start, start a charity project to back home to help orphanages, especially uh, young children who don't have resources just for living and also resources for education. For the Congolese community here in the UK, I think the most important thing is network within the youth. I think a lot of Congolese, unlike other cultures, they don't really work together. Like We seem to hang out together to party, but when it comes to doing constructive things for the community, no one works together. And for me, the main focus is going to be establishing a network between the youth and also Congolese professionals so that they have inspirations and they have access to find a way into things that they can do. Um, because I think if everyone works together, then we can form a special community and a special network of people that can make a change in the community. Uh, the thing that makes me different is that um, from my experience in being an actor, I've got to travel the world a lot and meet a lot of people. And just from my background of where I've worked in terms of like um, with, with tailors in Savile Row, like I've got to see a lot of the world and meet so many different communities. And I'm able to adapt and mix with people from all types of background. And one of the things that that stand that makes me uh, quite unique is the fact that I know how to if I if I set out to do something I usually end up getting it done so I have quite a relentless state of mind and a very structured mentality to approaching things so I think that I can bring um, a lot of structure in terms of in terms of driving my projects forward and also I've got quite a good commercial uh, side with my agent with the agent that I work with and with my acting profile so I can bring a good sense of commercial to the competition so that it raises the profile hopefully to a bigger audience and you know that that could be better for everyone in the community. Um, people should vote for me to be Mr. Popular because I think that um, I'm, I'm, I work with loads of, I've worked with, um, my career has been so varied, I've worked with young children from really young to really old professionals and people from really wealthy backgrounds, really difficult backgrounds and I've always found a way to adapt and, and to get along with them. Um, I really like to get stuck in and I'm not afraid so I think that I'm just a really open and approachable person and I think that I should be voted Mr. Popular because I think that I can, I can bridge the gap between the youth and the, the elder people. It's helped me so much, like, during the process we explore a lot of themes like to do with leadership. What does it mean to be a leader? What does it mean to be a man? And we look into the history of Congo and all of that has helped me understand actually how what happened 500 years ago in Congo has literally shaped the person that I am today, my family and the way that I do things, it shaped a lot of my values and it's helped me redefine myself as a man and as a Congolese man living in the modern age within Britain and just within the world. So I feel like I've got such a stronger sense of identity which has made me feel a lot more confident and a lot more secure in myself and I think that's one of the biggest things that, that, is, that has really helped and I think that's why I would encourage as many people to come to see the competition and get inspired or if you're not seeing it, come in and get involved and get inspired and give something back.